Hi, this is Jeff Lawson. I'm an MACPA member and a member of the State Tax Committee. I'm here today to show you the features that are available in the notification emails sent from the MACPA group system. Here's an actual notification that was sent out by the system. I'm going to go over each of the options available within the notification. Note that you can use the reply option in your email system to reply to the discussion and you're not required to use any of the links found within the email. I'll describe each of the links for those who are interested in these additional system features. The first item in the message is the name of the person who posted it. If the person has included a photo in their group's profile, it will be displayed here also. If you click on the person's name, it will take you to their MACPA group's profile, where you can see more information about them. From here, you can send a private message by clicking the button that says Message This Person. After the name of the sender, you'll see the date and time of the message followed by the message itself. If the message includes attachments, they'll be listed right below the message with links for easy downloading. Below the message text, there's an area with several links that allow you to interact with the system. If you click Like This Post, it'll give this post a 5-star rating on the MACPA Group's website. Clicking Reply via website will take you directly to the discussion online and open a window where you can type your reply. The next link says, Reply via email. This is almost exactly like using the reply button in your email system, except that this link will reply to this specific post and will show on the website directly under this post, while clicking reply in your email system will reply to the entire discussion, and the reply will show on the website at the bottom of the discussion. The last link in this area says stop following discussion. Clicking this link will tell the system not to send you any more notifications for this particular discussion. It has to open the website to change this setting, so you can just close the site after it opens. Just below these links, you'll see three more links. The first one shows the name of the group the discussion is in. Clicking the link will take you directly to that group on the group's website. The next link shows the title of the discussion. Clicking this link will take you directly to this discussion on the group's website. If you'd like to start a new discussion topic, you can click this link, which will open a new email addressed to the group. You can type a topic and a message and then send the email. This will create a new discussion in the group and notify all members. The last link we want to discuss is at the bottom of the notification email and says MACPA Group's Profile. When you click this link, it will take you directly to your MACPA Group's Profile where you can add your photo and update things like your interests and job history. You can also change your email delivery preferences from this page. The most common setting is called Group Discussion Emails and can be set to deliver notifications as they are posted daily, weekly, or never. Be sure to click the Save Profile button after making changes to this page. That's all we have for today. To learn more about MACPA groups, Check the MACPA Groups link under the Connect menu on the MACPA website. Thank you. I hope you have a great day.